Nelson. Three on the shot clock. Got to pull a shot. Green from deep. Two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Human Highlights. Today we have a special guest and the youngest of the Green Brothers. Yes, sir. I'm Drew Green. Go, Go ahead on. and uh, introduce yourself. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm Drew. Let Green. him know. Let him know. I'm the youngest of the Green Brothers. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know. Um, well, you, uh, so I know you're in college now. So yes, sir. Uh, where, let, let them know where, where you're attending. All right, I'm at uh, Seton Hill University. It's in uh, Pennsylvania, PSAC conference. Uh, yeah, it's about like three, three and a half, four hours from out here. So mm -hmm. it's not too bad. It's cool. And how are you liking it so far? Uh, it's straight out there. It's cool. You know, we got this it's solid school. Mm -hmm. Got a good team out there this year. So it should be good, yeah. Can't wait. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> well, let's get started. So like, uh, I guess, how did it all start coming up with, you know, Growing up, I know you had like two older brothers, and I know you guys were always competing because I was there with you guys. Yeah, facts. And you were out there. Facts. So, uh, I guess how it all started this whole basketball journey. All right. So, uh, I definitely say my father definitely was like the one who really put a ball in my hand, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing basketball probably since six, seven, like as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really playing competitive basketball right, right, right. until maybe like eighth grade going to ninth grade high school but like that competitive spirit for basketball was, was really built playing with y'all like, yeah. like that's Hell what the, yeah. that's what the competitive Hell spirit yeah. was built though, i'll be honest like, i wasn't really like playing against nobody like competitively until like i came out here with my brothers mm -hmm. you we had brandon and david come up mm -hmm. that was like the first time i actually played basketball and like had that will to win like i yeah. wanted to win bad like, it was always a battle yeah like every yeah, time you go out it was always a battle yeah, like that was where that will to win came from i'll be honest mm -hmm. like, that's where it came from right there and and you think um and you said your, your dad was like the first one to yeah. put a ball did he play ball at all i mean he played basketball like in high school you know he didn't play nothing like serious you know mm -hmm. he was always like he had to work he had to grow up really fast you know right. living his lifestyle but yeah, he he played here. I mean, and he there. always like he was always like rooting and like, yeah. you know he was out there. Like, he was, he was there always getting, hooping with us too. Facts. Like he was out there getting angry, like yeah, telling like, us what to do, working yeah, out. What are you guys doing? We do this, we do that. <laughs> and we out here just chilling, we having trying to have fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was. It's serious. always fun though. Yeah, it was fun. And then, um, so as far as like organized basketball, when did that start? Like uh, so, probably like middle school, maybe. Yeah, I mean like real basketball, like competing at a high, higher level was mm -hmm. probably in my eighth grade year okay. and I kind of went down um Cecil went to like this inner city played yeah. basketball uh, that was like the first time I actually like competed like mm -hmm. I did and, some, and what was that like as far as like um competition and like so the prospects so like it was different so like prospects it was I mean we we're all like eighth grade so like it wasn't really no like real prospects yet mm -hmm. we were just all just trying to you know we're all trying to trying find to develop, our way yeah much. develop yeah. But like that's where I kind of got that like grittiness because you know city basketball is yeah, different from it's basketball. Different. It's different from out here. It's different. So like come, living out here and playing because I was that's when I was like in um, eighth grade. So I was out here playing basketball for my school team. Mm -hmm. You know it's a little bit you know. But then you got to transfer out to the city and everything gets tough. It gets yeah. rough. Guys are pushing the people. Mm -hmm. uh, refs aren't calling fouls. Like <laughs> that was the lifestyle out there. So yeah. That's... And you think there was like a difference in in play? uh compared like going into like let's say maybe going into high school uh going into high school i mean so like i went to school out in the city too my freshman year mm -hmm. so i didn't go to like a Baltimore county school or anything like that so going out there definitely was like a culture shock to me really? because i'm you know i went to a school where like i'm not from around there right yeah I, i'm not, so you're not I, familiar with everybody yeah, else like, either I, I i couldn't relate to the people that lived that, that went to school out there you know i mm -hmm. was coming from a different background from them so I kind of had to like adjust and deal with that type of adversity, which was, you know, it wasn't hard on me. It was pretty simple because I had the basketball team I, I like played with the year before in the summer. So mm -hmm. like all of those guys on the team, they all went to the school there. Yeah, so yeah. I was automatically, you know, I was cool. I was in with them. So I, I had like a immediate friend group. I knew I was cool with out there and I kind of just developed it. And eventually the whole school kind of got to know who I was. Okay. And there I was, you, you know what I mean? I was accepted. Yeah. So it was straight. Yeah. yeah. That's straight. That's yeah. straight. And then did you transfer after? Yeah. Um, so was it your sophomore year? Yeah, Go my on. sophomore year. My, I played my freshman year there, JV, sophomore year. I started off on JV and then I transferred on to uh, 
varsity towards the end, like playoffs or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then after that season, I had transferred to a private school, the McDonough School in Owens Mills, mm -hmm. about like 40, 40, 45 minutes away from here. It's kind of far, but right. that was also another culture shock for me too, as well, because you know I never been in a private setting like that before. Right. And that was like a older level, so like kids, you know, walking around kids pulling up to school with teslas like Dang. i'm like i'm like this is different i don't own a car <laughs> like i don't even got a car like come on i'm still catching the bus for real right kids driving bmw it was different that was a culture shock for me too as well mm -hmm. but that was a nice experience how was the com uh, competition in, right. in like private school that might have been the best competition i've oh, ever really? had in my life really Tough. I, I played against so many so many division one prospects like Dang. division one players it's crazy like i might even be able to name everybody like really? yeah it was playing in the private league that we was in an mi double a mm -hmm. so i would say you have the um the, the league with damatha and st joe's was mm -hmm. like the top dog powerhouses of like maryland dmv yeah and like paul is but pavia or whatever like that's that's like the like the top league, but I'll say like the MIAA might be like the second best league here okay. in, the D, in the DMV. So yeah, played against Dang. a lot of a lot of oh, guys. Tough. Okay. Yeah. And you, th um, I guess with those, did it was there any schools or like a certain I guess athlete that kind of give you like trouble when like playing against? So if, if you yeah. remember any more, yeah, I remember. I mean, it was like every game we had trouble. Oh really? So yeah, that's all I was saying. I was like. I used to talk to my friends out who lived out here and play basketball, and it was like, yeah, we played them this year. It's gonna be a good one. Like, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna get a dub. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you're gonna beat and who you're gonna lose to in my double A. It's crazy. So, like, uh, I have to say, with um, the best player that probably gave us the most trouble would have to be a manual quickly. Mm -hmm. And given his current circumstances, mm -hmm. like, he's in a league. You feel, mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? He's on the Knicks. Yep. He was in a rookie of the year candidate race. Like, yes, sir. And he was getting men, like he was playing, like he was hooping. So he was like, getting his buckets. yeah, he was he was doing his thing. So I mean, he might have been like the most elite player I played against in high school, mm -hmm. and you know it goes to show to where he's at now. Yeah, uh, I know my junior year, I played against a kid named Jalen Smith. Okay, he went to Maryland after he was a senior. I was a junior, so that was my first year uh, going to McDonough. He's in the NBA now too. He was also on the suns you feel me oh, okay he was like in the during the regular season he might have been like g league bouncing back and forth mm -hmm. but during that playoff run he was on that like he was on that team wow. like he was might have been at the wow. end of the bench but he was on that team you feel me hey you feel me <laughs> it takes that that much just to get to me like people That's don't realize saying. like the, the amount of hard work that people put through just to be on that, that team is like crazy. to get on the nba i was like I'm, i remember i was watching it i was with i was back at school watching um one of the Suns games against the Hawks. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking on the TV, I'm like, hey bro, that, that's Dylan Ray, that's Dylan Ray. <laughs> he had a little TV time, like, that's crazy that's to tough. me. Like, that's I, like I played against him, I'm looking at him on the TV, I'm like, he's really feeling that atmosphere right now. And that's that's crazy, like, that's, mm -hmm. that's a lifetime experience. Like, that's great, like, right. you know, that's really good. But yeah, I mean, also, uh, Sadiq Bay plays for the Pistons. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's he's a, a lethal, monster, dude. He's a lethal shooter. He's a like, monster. I played against him in high school. He went to uh, Sidwell Friends. I think he was um all rookie first year, I think. Oh, he might I think I he might have been all rookie first team. I think he might have been of uh this previous season. Yep, I think he might have been. Uh he went to what Villanova. Mm -hmm. And he, that's he, tough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had a strap. Like, that's I I still remember like the first play of the game against him in high school. Like uh -huh. off tip. They get the ball. He threw the ball to the wing. He threw the ball like the wing. He like went all the way like the half court. I'm I'm, I'm guarding him meanwhile. I'm guarding him first play. I get hit with this back screen, and next thing I know, I look back and the ball's in the air, and he comes out of nowhere and just grabs it, and just dunks it first. Play. I'm like, oh, yeah, these guys are different. I'm like, yeah, this this real out here. This this league is real. But yeah, he was Damn. definitely another killer I played for. That's crazy. Yeah. Like even like people just don't understand like when it comes to these people that bounce in and out of G League to the NBA and all that stuff, that takes a lot of work. Yeah, you know it takes a lot of work. I would, and a lot of people would kill for that position just to be in on that NBA team. You know what I mean? Nah, I give them their flowers, man. Cause mm -hmm. That road is that That's road tough. Is, that road is hard. So has it always been like um like a decision to to take the whole basketball journey or? What, what, what are your thoughts as of right now? I know you're still in college and whatnot, but. So like uh, my whole thoughts of what it be about like mostly playing overseas right now. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, try and kill as much as I can, work hard, play, develop my game and get that contract overseas. I feel like I can really get like a, mm -hmm. a good deal, play yeah, somewhere pro, sure. play somewhere pro overseas, 
couple years, maybe test the orders in the NBA, you know, don't That'd go wrong. Nice. I could always go back overseas, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. but overseas. I, I know there's, cool. there's, there's a lot of players that go overseas and they yep. do really, really well. They kill and they come over to like PJ Tucker was yeah. overseas. Yeah. Pat Bev overseas. Like they're all overseas guys, you feel me? But, and then they come back, they go back to the NBA, like, they're there. Yeah. Like you, it I may like, take a long while, but. They're gonna get yep. their, they're working and they're they're gonna get to the NBA That's at what one I'm point. It, it's it's a long road there. Some people can some people uh, you know are blessed they can get there. You got the Jason Tatum get there when they're nineteen, but yeah. some guys you gotta really grind it out. I mean, I mean if there. you look at um for example the Suns Cameron Payne Cameron Payne he's had a long journey long journey he has, yeah he was bouncing you know different teams here and there and then. Made it to the finals. Yeah, like you, just can't give up you, on your team. Like even just a whole playoff run with him, like that was crazy. I'm, I'm sitting now coming like, off the bench. Put like, Cameron Payne in the game. He's exactly. Hooping. Yeah, put him he in. was hooping. He was hooping. Yeah. So uh, I guess going back to high school, um, was there any like uh, memories that like really instilled within you that uh, you'll always cherish? So like like basketball memories, like games. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to say, playing is like my home, like my home team. Like, okay. Because I say, I say home team. Like I know we all at home in Maryland, but right, right. I didn't, I didn't get to go to my zone school. Yeah. Know? I live yeah. out here in Perry Hall, but I never went here. Mm. That's where all my homeboys went. Yeah. So I know uh, my junior year, we looked at the schedule and we had Perry Hall in the circle. <laughs> yeah. We you had, had that circle. <laughs> we had Perry Hall in the schedule, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm playing against my guys. Like uh-huh. this is my people. This is all people I know. All my friends, they all go to school here. I live right around the corner from them. But I gotta go all the way out here to go to school, but it's cool. But Perry Hall, I had them circled. I was, I think I might have had my best high school career game against them. Oh really? Yeah, I'm, they, they had a great team too. They was like, I think they might have won the state championship that year too. Mm-hmm. They had uh, Ant Higgs went to oh Illinois. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ant Higgs went to Illinois. Laquil Hardnett, Buffalo right now. Uh, Anthony Walker, he's at Miami right now. And then he had some like. They had a kid named Tyler, he, Division One football player, quarterback. Like mm-hmm. they had some guys on that team, but I think that might have been my best memory because it was like playing against people that I knew personally, right. like on a level. Like I'm yeah. in the game, I'm like, dang, like I was right around the corner from bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a pickup game, pretty much. Yeah, that's what it almost, home, it almost felt like. It almost felt like it's probably also why I probably had my best game against them ever, though. Because uh-huh, you got, were comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. like a that was like a showcase game at Morgan, mm-hmm. and uh, that's when I got like a, a little MVP thing. Nice. It, was, it was like a showcase game. Okay. I had, like. 23 maybe 23 24 that's tough yeah, that was that was a great that's game like a little homecoming like hey yeah what's up that was great yeah well speaking of football i know you're also a two-way yeah. athlete yeah i don't know like growing up i've always seen you and your brothers playing football as well so how was that like as well growing up because that probably i guess the toughness like kind of instilled into you as well yeah. um like you know you you guys growing up and i know you you guys are always competitive man. yeah like every from sport. the from the jump at every sport you know you know how to play it <laughs> yeah exactly i'm like yeah these guys yeah. you guys have come a long way long way and that this whole journey you'll get through it you'll yeah no, it. I'm, i know I'm i know you guys can yeah. I, I see i see you guys putting the work so it's like almost every time and i think um i guess we should also mention this but uh when Drew always comes back in the summertime, he'll always have his little summer camps with the, with oh, the yeah. young kids. The Uncle Drew camp. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let, yeah. let him know, let him know, Uncle let him know. Drew camp. Uh, I get sign up, whatever y'all want to do. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it, it started off, it's like a joke, you know, but it, 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 at the end of the day, it also is like just getting better. Yep. I mean, it ain't nothing serious. We all, it's like basically like getting the kids in the neighborhood to come to the court. Mm-hmm. And it's a good way to get everybody to work out. I know some of the guys, um, they live in the next neighborhood over. Yeah. It was like last summer. I was doing it heavy Yo, last they summer. Grew. Yeah, they grew up fast. Oh, oh my, I can't, my God. They're all taller than me. I know. That's what it's I'm crazy. saying. Like, there was, I don't remember his name. He had a red shirt last time we played. Malik. It yeah. might have been Malik. Bro, yeah. the last time I saw him, he was like at yeah, least this it's short. It's crazy. It's crazy. And that's the I'm like looking up at him. I'm and like, the dude. The crazy thing about that is they're still young. Yeah, I know. Like sophomore high school type of young. Mm-hmm. But I know last summer, uh, we did a, we didn't do it much this summer because I you know I wasn't been home a lot. But mm-hmm. last summer we used to break up group chat. Mm-hmm. Y'all working out this weekend? I got y'all. Y'all wanna work out today? Okay. I text them. Meet me at the court this time. We all at the court working out, ball handling. I'm working on my own game at the same time, right. shooting drills like. We was getting after it, and I just call it like the Uncle Drew camp. You know, it's kind of funny. Now, now going off of that, do you do you think um, you might want to 
consider like you know doing a little summer camp here and there just 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 a little maybe like open up some a little something oh, on the side yeah, like you know yeah. once you get all established school and yeah. established and all that stuff oh yeah because yeah, i sure. i feel like like looking at them like looking at the kids that you know in the neighborhood and all that stuff like what, you, what you've been doing and like what you and your brothers have been putting on as far as like you know workouts and all that stuff you guys have been doing a really great job yeah. and just like looking at how they're playing and like mentally how they're you know being more competitive yeah. skills and all that stuff do you yeah. think you see yourself doing that in the future uh, even yeah. with your brothers yeah I, I definitely do for sure like when i when it's all said and done maybe even sooner than that mm -hmm. uh I'm definitely planning on like trying to start something because that'd be cool that'd Probably be really cool organization mm -hmm. start something because I, I mean as much like I, I mean we had y'all guys you know we was playing but I never had like a me or my older brother or Daryl at the court you know what I mean mm -hmm. like as yeah. competitive as we were but yeah. like these kids got like they have some good division they have Mar Marcellus division one ball he played division one ball mm -hmm. DJ division one ball they have a lot of good, yeah they're like, planning you know. to get some good talent right now mm -hmm. at a very young age like we didn't like us growing up we didn't have we didn't no have one that. like no one it came was literally back just us. it was just us we was working just on us that. making each other better but we didn't have no one to come back and really challenge us and mm -hmm. yell at us and get on us and be like no you're doing this you need to do yeah. this you need to do that and really work we had the court though like yeah. we didn't have that and i think a lot of kids these days you know need that will help them get over that hump yeah for sure and it's more sure. relatable coming from someone like me than coming from an old guy that that you know, yeah that, that did it like 20 yeah, 20 30 20, years 20, ago 20, you know what I mean? it's always good to learn from older people but like you know sometimes it's more relatable and it's easier you want to listen to people that you know you're close to in age and more relatable to so, mm -hmm. yeah for sure yeah. like you know and especially with you guys like you guys have have seen most of it like you yeah. know you you've seen a lot of competition and um you guys are continue building your skills and yeah. all that stuff so why not like you know why not do workouts with y'all you know what yeah, I mean yeah that's what I'm saying it's like like we right around the corner like exactly. we always want to hoop it's accessible it's right yeah. there I'm not gonna tell you no yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know I, mean? I always tell them like I'm not gonna tell you no to hoop and you yeah. wanna hoop let's go exactly. like, get this so workout in that's crazy alright so going back to high school what was it like when it comes to um picking picking your college After when it got college. to like se senior year i know senior year was a lot stressful you know yeah, you gotta, you gotta do all your tests and all that stuff definitely what was that like for uh, you? Yeah. senior year picking college was different i was like one i had no clue what was going on mm -hmm. not gonna lie to you. <laughs> i don't think anyone knew had, what they were what was going on I had man no clue what was going on and um but one thing i did know about myself was that uh i didn't want to I didn't want to have to like delay college mm -hmm. so i didn't want to have to do like a prep i didn't oh, want to, okay. you know i didn't want i wanted to get right into it. i wanted to go right to a you know a full year if i had the opportunity to go to full year i'm mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and get that yeah i didn't sure. want to i didn't want a chance you know try and go somewhere else to hopefully to like wait out a year yeah, or wait out like or that. hopefully get something better i was just like you know what i'm gonna take what i got mm -hmm. and i'm gonna make the best of the situation that's what sure. i did but you know going through a high school i always had like you know division one interest from different schools mm -hmm. and my senior year kind of like faded away a little bit i started getting more like d2 looks and i was like you know that's 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 what it's that's it what is i'm what dealt is, that's yeah. what i'm dealt i'm gonna take it i'm gonna make the best of it and that's what i did but um uh, still deciding on school it was still difficult because it was like i don't know anything about these places yeah. like, I, 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 like i've never been to i've been to pennsylvania but i've never been to greensburg like i've never yeah. been there before so that was different uh declaring major like I, I, yeah. done switched my, I already switched my major like yeah <laughs> like, dude that, it's scary it's man. not even like, a basketball aspect of the college sometimes it's like the other things that come with it yeah and then yeah and then going out and meeting new people living on my own mm -hmm. never thought i have to I, <laughs> <laughs> so what so uh Different. did you have like how many choices did you have as far as school or like at least your, did you have like any top three that you you were like um, really really considering i didn't really have like a a, a list of like where I wanted to go, this, that, and there, because um, I think the school I'm at now kind of got to me pretty early. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. So then I might have, I'm, I think I committed to them in like, it was like mid season of my, my senior year. Senior, okay. So I was, so I knew I was doing, like, I knew like when the season was over with, I didn't have to worry about uh, where I, that was my main to my main thing to go to was like my summer. I wanted to like, you know, like really, chill out. really yeah. chill out, just work out, work on my game, really experience time with my friends. I, didn't, I missed that a lot. Mm -hmm. I missed a lot of that going away yeah. for school at the city and, the, and, the, and, um, and I went to those mills. I didn't spend much time with my friends. Right. I realized that I missed out on a lot. And I was like, you know what? I'm a, 
I'm gonna buckle down, get this school right here, work on my game, and, and really spend some time with my friends, the people that I grew up with from when I was younger. And I, yeah, I think that was good for me. I think that was really great for me. Yeah, and then just like not having that like constant stress, like all right, I yeah. gotta make a decision like yep. last minute. You know what I yep. mean? That's crazy. Yeah. There's, I know, like when it comes to college and like picking one out, I'm like, and, bro, I don't, and, I yeah, don't know. And I have to worry about test scores anymore. And yeah. I have to worry about making sure I got. <laughs> I think I took the SAT like three, four times. Uh huh. Like, and once I committed, it was like, oh yeah, your SAT score is good enough. I'm like, oh, I'm not taking this no more. Exactly. I'm not worried about this. <laughs> you know, like I had to worry about, like I, I was worried about school. You know, I went, you know, I'm a good student. Like, I got good, good grades, but I didn't have to like, oh, I gotta make sure I pass it. I gotta make sure I do this. Yeah, I make, yeah. Because I knew what I had was good enough, and I was gonna be there regardless. I was gonna be straight regardless. So mm -hmm. like that was also a good burden off my shoulders too, and I feel like that was a good thing for me. So freshman year of college, what was that like? Uh, let's say the first to start off with like the dorm setting and all that stuff because right, so, i know you're you're all you're, you're living on campus and yeah whatnot. so all right so like dorm dorming was dorm was a bad my roommate was cool my okay. roommate was cool I, at first i was like i gotta have a roommate like there's no way I, <laughs> there's no way like come on we basketball player like you know the team like come on let's let's get some singles like yeah and now i go to show like I'm, I'm grateful for having a roommate uh -huh. you know what i mean it, it made you like learn to help you know i don't know it was like, like it was a great experience having yeah. a roommate and also like now he's like my best like he's my he's like my best oh. guy like that's my best friend that's my yeah. guy right there like i do anything for him you feel me and like even now we have our singles now but he's still my neighbor like i have a single he has a single <laughs> okay. we're, we're neighbor like we, we didn't like we haven't left each other yet mm -hmm. i don't think we're ready for that but <laughs> we still together <laughs> but like having the dorm life was cool you know we had um it was co-ed mm -hmm. that's always good uh food was good you know, it was a, it was a good atmosphere up there. As, as like a basketball athlete, or just like you know, as an athlete, was it different when when it came to dorming and stuff like that? Or um, not, nah, not really, because we were grouped up with everybody. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we were. I know our freshman year, we was, we was grouped up with everybody. We had, you know, we had the students that were there for academics. Mm -hmm. Then we had like uh, football players living on the same hall as me. Oh, okay. We had volleyball players. Like we were, like you know, we were just mixed up. They just, oh, okay. they just said, all right, here's your roommate. Here's your room, and whoever is around you is who. This is just luck of the draw, you know. <laughs> all right, so what'd you guys do for fun at, while while y'all in? Uh, all right, so we on on campus and whatnot. We used to because uh, I know I know y'all y'all do the the whole TikToks and stuff. Oh yeah, this, that would be, we got big with TikToks. I know. <laughs> My boy Mike, shout out Mike Joiner. Um, yeah, he got he blew up. We was on Bleacher Report. House I know. Of I was like, yo, we everywhere, just making TikToks. That was that's about. I remember time. I was messaging like. Yo. Yeah, this is different. I, I was, seen y'all. <laughs> I was getting I was getting text messages, DMs like, bro, this is you. I didn't even know I was I it was to the point where like I would go out, we would go out, who work out, and we would get on our phones and we had like messages from all our friends back at home, like, bro, you're on House of Pilot. Yeah, bro, yeah. You know, like, you're in high school hoops. Like, I'm like, dang, like I know. this comment. I was like, well, as good as that was, but I feel like the best thing we we do a lot of stuff, you know, like I know freshman year we used to get in the studio a lot. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so in free time we used to be in the. We used to stay Are we gonna studio. hear any of this mixtape coming out? I don't know about that, <laughs> but we used to stay in the. But we swore we was rappers. We used to stay in the studio. My uh, my guy Mike uh -huh. does it all. He's making beats. Dang. He's making beats for us. We had we we bought a little mic like a makeshift mic, kind of like how we you know bought a mic mm -hmm. stands, had some headsets. Right, right. We used right. to get in the studio. We used to get after it. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were, we thought we was gonna make it out with the rapping. But uh, it was all it was all jokes. Though. Hey man, you never know. Yeah, you never, <laughs> you know. never hey, know. You never know. But we was always joke about it. Was, the studio was kind of like a place where we can go where it was like no basketball. Mm -hmm. It was just like all laughs, play, right. having fun. Yeah, yeah. You just get away from everything, pretty much. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a good that's, release. That's pretty chill. Like that's yeah. a good yeah, stress it was a, reliever. You yeah, know what it mean? was. Especially like so like how was your schedule like as far as an athlete? Um, so, with like practices and like game day and all that stuff. All right, so my freshman year was actually packed. Oh, really? So I think I would wake up maybe, well, before season started, I was waking up at like nine mm -hmm. or 8.30 and I'll start my day at 8.30 a.m. And then around like, I had the whole day from like 8.30 to maybe about 2.33, mm -hmm. I'm doing classes or okay. schoolwork. And then from three to four, it's like a little mini break. But then when 4.30 hit, we're in the gym working out. We practicing till like six, six thirty, and then it's like you know repeat. But then once we like towards the off season, it, it got even worse, you know, because then we got uh, yeah, lift. 
three, was like lift putting is, some work in, in the weight room. Lift is like three, four times a week. Dang. Individual workouts twice a week. Uh-huh. Team practice every day. Look, it, it, it got it got better. And then we also on top of that, we still had class. We still had to go to right. class. Yeah. So yeah, our schedule was like jam packed, especially off off seasons. What was like your typical um like I guess routine when it came to game day? Game day? Yeah. Uh, so game was that any, any more different? Because I know um, like you know you got your classes and all that stuff. Yeah, game day was definitely more relaxed. Oh, okay. With classes because um we'll always leave. Mm-hmm. So you know you had classes that day. You go to your classes and up until maybe about three four hours before the game. Mm-hmm. If you had any classes in that time period, you wouldn't go. You know, oh, you would okay. meet at the yeah. gym. We did our little walkthroughs. Uh, we ate as a team. You know, we just chilled out before games. And you know, if it was a away game or a home game, depending, we'll probably have to leave sooner if it was mm-hmm. away. But home games was more relaxed. You know, you can go back to your room, relax uh, a little bit. You feel me? Dang. Okay. Get that. At least, at least you get to find you know, your chill, find your peace. chill out real quick yeah. before before the chaos you know, starts. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So like for for like gear, right, you know, gear. equipments and all that stuff. What was that like? Did y'all oh, get any? Yeah, we, we get a we get a fair amount of gear. Oh. I mean, we're at Under Armour school. Okay. So like yeah, we get lifting gear, get a uh, on court gear. We get the spandex. Um, we get we get team shoes. I think we went. We probably had like. I went through a lot of hoop and shoes my freshman year. <laughs> freshman, I went through a lot of <laughs> shoes. But um, yeah, we, we get a fair amount of gear. I, I have like a hundred shirts, hundred basketball shirts, camp shirts. Like it, we just have a whole bunch. We have a whole bunch. We, mm-hmm. we have a fair amount of gear. Now, I know with like the whole COVID and everything, how did that affect your whole season going in? Because when did you start college? I started 2019. 2019, oh, yeah, so, so yeah, exactly. I, yeah, 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 my yeah. freshman year. Yeah. I haven't had a, a regular year of college yet. Oh, really? Yeah, so my freshman Damn. year, I had to, we had the fall semester and then the spring semester is when the COVID and stuff hit towards the end. Mm-hmm. So our season just ended. Uh, we didn't have like the best yeah, season. Yeah, because 2019, March. fall, and then going in 2020 that's mm-hmm. when everything yeah i know um there yeah, was 2020 then my fault mm-hmm. uh it was like me and me had the best season so like our last game was in like march like mid-march maybe or you know maybe like mid-march and then mm-hmm. I, you know march madness starts mm-hmm. march madness all of that stuff got canceled because of covid that year right. but we weren't I, I don't think we were gonna go off and to play that anyway so i kind of had a regular year but we didn't get that second semester you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i didn't get that feel of what off-season basketball felt like i don't i don't know like i have right. i still haven't felt it like uh-huh. i don't know so then yeah that happened and then we thought that COVID was gonna be more under control this then third whatever came back my sophomore year mm-hmm. or this year that just passed we thought we were gonna have a season so we're practicing we practice every day we practice as if like we had you were actually gonna have yeah, like we a practice real like, regular yes. season we practice like everything was normal Damn. hard hard every day we went hard every day and then it was like maybe around Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. We were they made a a, a decision to say, okay, we're gonna start the, our conference up uh, after Christmas break. It's mm-hmm. gonna be all league play, so you oh, just play okay. only teams in your conference. There's no all, out of conference games, oh, no okay. nothing like that. It's within it's within the conference, and it also wasn't gonna go against. It was gonna like penalize anyone for the year, so we oh, all get our year back. Right. So our coach is like, all right, so that's cool. Let's let's pound it out. Let's keep working hard. Let's prepare ourselves because other schools in our conference weren't even in school. School was closed. <laughs> we were for our, our school was actually open throughout the whole. Like, the we were whole, open the whole time. Yeah, we yeah, didn't yeah. close. So we was working out. We had the advantage. Money on our Christmas break. We come. We about to come back. Like, all right, we about to have a season. We about to have a season. Coach Texas. Guys, we're not gonna have a season this year. <laughs> you know, just like, <laughs> dang. That might have been the most emotionally draining thing that ever happened. To yeah, because you guys were going in <laughs> the whole the whole time, man. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were going, we were like, we were going full out every day. Like we had a game every, like we had a game every Wednesday. That's how we was playing. Like, we had a game every Wednesday. Like we was going hard just to find out we didn't have a season, and then came back we thought we were we thought it was gonna be like all right coach is gonna be cool you know mm-hmm. we'll have a season we just gonna have casual workouts practice nah we went hard <laughs> <laughs> we had individuals lift three four times a week waking up at 6 a.m to lift 7 a.m to lift the coach did uh, not give a fuck he's like we going in nah, we we was working out we was working we was getting after it uh-huh. and um hey man that's good though yeah that's i mean at, in the moment in the moment like i kind of you know i had my like in my times i was like man i, I don't feel like doing this I, 
this is too much. This is too much. Like, we're not even playing, like, you know. But at the end of the day, when I sit back and think about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy we did that because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it, it made me better. Mm-hmm. I could have been sitting down being lazy. I know exactly. Like, I know I didn't have a season. If it wasn't for my coach, I don't. Who knows if I'd have been in the gym working out? You know what yeah. I mean? I have a passion for it, but like that was like emotionally draining finding out that we didn't have a season. Yeah. I couldn't and that play. sucks, dude. Yeah. Cause like, you know, you've been preparing for that much and putting in time in the gym. Yeah. And next thing you know, it's just, yeah, it gets but, cut off. But I, I think that man for letting us, for, for working this out the way he did though. Cause <laughs> that was, that was good for us. I'm, I'm not gonna, yeah, that was, you, that was cool. Now this coming fall semester, has, have they said anything? Yeah, yet? so we, we're, we're good now. Oh, okay. We're, we're playing this year. Uh, I'm gonna be a basketball sophomore, but I'm gonna be a junior for like you know, for, school. Yeah, free school. So yeah. I get my year back, so I can get like a fifth year, mm-hmm. maybe somewhere else on scholarship for free, play basketball. So that, that also helped me in my favorite team. It also gave me a year to work on my game. Mm-hmm. It was almost like a gap year, you know. Yeah. But I was getting education, but getting your work in yeah, too. I was, yeah, I was getting working like. So I was that was good for me though. So yeah, this year is my sophomore year basketball wise is there anything good. you're looking forward to as far as this year because n- now now that you know you've gotten you had like a year off oh yeah I'm, where you, you you put in work I'm, I'm ready to start competing okay I'm, I'm ready to go I think now. I think the hunger is always there <laughs> yeah. I think the hunger is always there and, it, and I think it's more the matter that uh we're a different team from what we were freshman year mm-hmm. freshman year I think we were the youngest team okay. in, in the nation oh dang we had That's crazy to think we had nine freshmen Dang, that's like that's pretty much a whole team. We had yeah, we had nine freshmen, and I think we were a team maybe of thirteen. Damn, thirteen. Maybe. That's crazy. Nine freshmen, and we started at one point four freshmen, one senior. Damn. We were riding <laughs> like we was we was riding out four freshmen, one senior. Our senior was he was good. His name was Nate Davis. He's playing overseas in Germany. Mm-hmm. He, he's a he's big time leading scorer by school. Uh, so he's that's the second lead, yeah, second time all leading scorer. He's all confident. He's he, he's a beast. He was great, man. Mm-hmm. He was a straight up score. But um, we didn't have the best season. And then, you know, part of that was also because, you know, you, you got nine freshmen on your team. <laughs> <laughs> and then what, what really is like what makes me hungry about this season is all of our older guys are gone now. Mm-hmm. I'm I think I'm the third oldest on the team. Spot is open. Yeah. Spot is open. Yeah. So but, you do you. You yeah, know what I mean? I like our oldest like as for, I mean, for school wise, we're juniors, but like basketball wise, mm-hmm. uh, we're sophomores. Right. We the, we our oldest player on the team is a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> this year, our oldest player on the team is Yo, gonna be a sophomore. that's crazy. But that's that's what it is. But we gonna rock out. We gonna play. And we gonna get it done. I, I believe in y'all. Yeah. I mean, you guys put in the work. Yes, sir. It's gonna it's gonna show. Yeah. Now, so as far as um when it comes to game day, what what is what is your mental preparation? Like, yeah, you have all the physical preparation here and there when practices and all that stuff, but mentally, like, how are you preparing yourself when it comes to game day? All right, so mentally, I try not to, um, early on, I try not to think about the game, really. Mm. So I try not to think about it until maybe about two hours before walkthrough. Right. That's when I start, you know, locking in, really like, all right, let me relax my body. Let me, let me eat, let me make sure my body's right. Let me make sure this is right. Mm-hmm. Go to walkthrough, once walkthrough's over, Put the headphones in, put in my just slow, zone out. little slow jams. You feel me? Depend on the mood. You know, trippy red, don't matter. But uh, get on the bus or before the game. If it's if it's at home, that's even better. Because mm-hmm. at home games, I would literally like, because we would do our walkthrough early in the day, and then coach would be like, all right, be in the gym, be in the locker room at this time, just ready to go. So like, I'll be in my bed after walkthrough, just laying there, <laughs> headphones in, just listening to music, vibing out, right? Just relaxing, you know, like. Just, you would never thought I had a game. I was just sitting there relaxing, calm. And, and then I walk down to the gym, get ready. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we ball out, do what we have to do. Yeah, yeah my, but my my mental preparation is very relaxed. I try to like stay calm. Mm-hmm. I don't try not to go with like a, put a lot on my head, a lot of a lot of fast stuff going on. I try to slow myself down mm-hmm. a lot. And what was like away games? Like as far as like traveling wise, you guys do we bus tra- and- Yeah, we did, we did bus because every- I thought this game might have been like a four and a half hour drive, maybe. Oh, okay. So yeah, we That's we didn't bad. we didn't do too far, not too far this our freshman year. But you know, the bus was cool. You know, just mm-hmm. sit down, relax, stay in your own lane. You know, just you know, be in your own little world. Up into I, the game. I feel you. Yeah. Nah, I I think that's that's pretty cool. Like you know, just keep yourself calm and collected. Yeah, I try to I try to stay cool. Just stay as calm as possible. Don't let. I try. I don't look at school stuff because I know as soon as I look at school, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna start. Dude. Homework. Yeah, uh, homework. I got projects. No, nope, this and that. Nope. Like, 
when I when game down, I don't care about nothing. I don't care about none of that. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I just keep myself relaxed. I don't want no stress. Nothing. Okay, that's you. Yeah. So, um, I know you're still a, well. You're a junior school wise, but like I guess after everything is said and done, as far as school and all basketball, where do you see yourself going? As far as that. So like um, outside of basketball. I've been doing a lot of like with communications in my school. That's my new major. Like it's my major now. Mm-hmm. Communication, speaking, broadcasting, maybe. Um, but I also been like heavily into like advertising. Okay. At school, I've been yeah. thinking about it. So about, but you know, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on what I really want to do yet. Mm-hmm. But right now, hey, I'm man, towards like you're, yeah. you're still young. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you still got a lot of time, yeah. man. I'm don't not, don't let know. people rush you. Oh no. Nah, until I'm you're ready. Me. Until you know what you actually really want to do. It'll come to you. Yeah, for sure. It'll come to you. For sure. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I still, I can get a question a lot. But just like, I, I really don't know, but mm-hmm. I got some, I got some aspirations, got some dreams. I got some things I've been thinking about, you mm-hmm. know, I'm, I've been thinking about advertising for companies, you know, yeah. or like a public relations manager somewhere. I like, you know, I've just been thinking about things, but mm-hmm. you know, things can change just like that. So I really, I really think though, you guys could do like the whole summer camp kind of thing. Oh yeah. Cause you guys yeah. do a really, really great job yeah. with, with, with all the neighborhood kids, man. Yeah. Like that'd be like a, like nice little small project on the side. That'd yeah, be really that, cool. That's, that's in the project. That's gonna be in the project. I, I think that would be really, really cool. Because we'll, we'll with all that work that you guys put in, it's crazy how these kids growing up in our neighborhood now, it's it's crazy yeah. how they must like how much they developed and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. it is. So um, we're getting closer to the end. So but uh I I would say what would you say? I mean, you know, you're still early in your college career and all that stuff, but yeah. um what would you say to your younger self? Now that, like, you know, now you've gone through and gotten a taste of what it's like, you know, doing the whole basketball thing, this whole basketball journey. And I'm pretty sure you've, along the way, you've learned a lot of things from different people, you know, meeting your roommates, yeah, uh, all your teammates, your coaches and all that stuff. What would be like one thing you give, like one advice you give yourself if you had to go back and talk to maybe 18 year old Drew or 18, 15 year old Drew? 15, uh, 15 year old me? What was that what was it? freshman mm-hmm. freshman year I probably I don't know I probably definitely told myself to like really start doing more like research and locking in and educating myself on like not you know like basketball like knowing what to do knowing mm-hmm. where I need to be at you know working with like camps because you know nowadays getting into college is, is more than just you know people coming out to you to be seen yeah you need to get yeah. that exposure mm-hmm. i wish i told myself about that i wish i would like told myself hey you need to be out here doing this you need to be you need to be here this is the spot you need to be at and when you see that's the thing yeah, though because like you don't yeah as as like us growing up as kids it's like we just wanted to hoop yeah we just, just wanted fun, to hoop. you know I was, what i mean i would just i know I, like my freshman i'm just out there like yeah know? like no one not a lot of these kids are like thinking like oh I didn't. Shit, I, I need didn't to be like out on AAU team I didn't, right there. I didn't. I honestly didn't care. Yeah. I was just like, I'm playing basketball and I'm playing good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Because then, like, if you look at it now, like all these kids, like 12 years old, 13 years old, they're getting all these exposure from yeah. like all these yeah, different I'm, camps, AAU and all that stuff. I've been looking at I look at my timeline and I'm seeing like eight year olds and they're talking about <laughs> AAU nationals. Yeah. I'm like, huh? Eight years old. Huh? I was playing in-house basketball. <laughs> what I'm saying, we had the color, we had the colored t-shirts, the colored on, t-shirts like, and everything. <laughs> AAU nationals, but the kids have definitely evolved since then. I see mm-hmm. eight-year-olds handling the ball like way grown, better, like grown way men, better, like, different, way better. I don't yeah. know what they're feeding these kids nowadays. Different. Just like different. when they get to like middle school, they're yeah. already dunking. Yeah. I'm like, bro, where yeah. was this when I, when yeah. we were growing up? That's, that was different. I'm oh. like, these kids are different, yeah, and that's when sure. I knew I was like, damn. Times are changing. Times are definitely changing. Times are changing. Um, I guess uh, what I was once also asked was like, for for your game individually, what inspired you, or like, was there a certain person or a player that like you you've always wanted to like emulate your game towards? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, see, when I always played, I kind of felt like. Like, I always felt like I could kind of do it all. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, realistically speaking, that was like the dream. Like, I always want to be able to, I want to be able to shoot. I want to be able to dribble. I want to be able to attack someone at the best. I want to be able to defend. So, like, I kind of had a variety of players that I was seeing. I was be like, yeah, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. I didn't really have that one designated mm-hmm. player that I wanted to be like. Mm-hmm. 
and um I, like I don't know I never like really thought like I want to be like him I never thought like mm-hmm. I want to play like this guy so you just pick and pull yeah I was pulling it. I was just pulling around like I would watch a game like I like the way LeBron ducks the ball. I'm going to start trying to dunk the ball. Uh-huh. Like, that's how it was. Like, uh-huh. I wasn't like, I didn't study one person's game. I kind of just looked around, mm. just watched around. And I also got a lot of stuff from my father, too, as well. He was always coaching. Oh, yeah. Like, you yeah. know, <laughs> we used to have the hoop out front of the house. We'd be out Yo, there. Yo, he would always be getting on you guys every time. <laughs> I remember uh, one time I was, I was, I can't remember what I was doing, but he came down. He was like, come on, Greg, go to court. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so we ended up going to uh, chapel, and I, I promise, I lie to you not. I think for maybe an hour and a half, mm-hmm. he had me shooting straight bank shots. He was like, some, he was telling me all about Tim Duncan. Man. I was just like, <laughs> hey man, he's like, trying to teach you all of them. He was telling me all about Tim Duncan. He was like, look, I was doing dribble, pull up on a, on a spot, bank shot. I was doing that for like an hour and a half in a straight heat, like heat. <laughs> I was out there, bang shot, bang shot. But like that's the type of things like I was, I was, I was accustomed to. Like that's what I was used to. Like I wasn't really like thinking about one particular person. I was trying to like, I wanted to be like great on every level mm-hmm. of the basketball court. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be able to just be good at one thing. So right. that's probably why I never really like really wanted to level in in one person. Mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to be like all around. Yeah, I wanted to be yeah, mixed. I wanted to pull be a different mixture. people. Yeah, and all their skill sets and stuff. Yeah, like that. that's pretty good, man. Like. You know, being able to handle the rock, being able to to create your own shot, yeah. one, and play both ends of the court, offense and defense. Yeah. That's like, that's a truly gifted and talented person, you know, yeah, and sure. truly skilled person to be able to do all those kinds of things. And yeah. I think you show it. Yeah. I think you can, you show it. And put in the work. You put in the work. Yeah. So, uh, it works out. Yeah. All right. So, to end this, um, we are... At the end of the NBA Finals, what did you think of the NBA Finals? <laughs> All right, so uh, now that I got to sleep on it, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm happy for you, honestly. Now, if you score 50 points, he's posted. He's, okay, he's posted. So he's when scored. that happened, I was like, he was probably like 41 points in. I was like, all right, there's no way you're not going to end this game without getting a 50 piece. Yeah, At least was, a 50 yeah, piece. That was, I was like, I was like, it was halftime, maybe. And I'm looking, I was like, 10 for 12 from the free throw line. Yeah. These guys are gonna win. <laughs> I'm like, they're gonna win. Like Giannis was playing great. Right. Chris, like his so Chris Middleton, Drew Allen, they were all playing great. You know, I wanted the Suns to win that series. Same. Though. I wanted Same. the Suns. I Same. wanted the Suns. I'm not gonna lie. I need. I wanted like CP3 to get I his wanted, ring. I wanted to see CP3 get a ring. I was like, I wanted the Suns to win, man. I did. But then I, I kind of was like, dang, like the Suns really lost. Like, when they game? when they tied the series up, I was like, ah, yeah, it might be over. It might be over. I was I was it was a little rough. I was like, I was really disappointed, mm-hmm. and I kind of woke up and I'm looking at my I'm looking at Instagram feed. And I'm looking at I'm like, wait, Giannis scored fifty, had what, yeah. five blocks, right? What? He had a double double too. Like, I think he had ten rebounds. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, all right. This this man deserved. It. All right, yeah, this man he deserved. Did, he it. Nah, deserved it. I give him his flowers. He deserved yep. it. And then to to cap it off too, Chris Middleton closed out every yes. game. Yes. Like the last two three games, yes. he closed it out. I'm Great. Like, Damn. And, okay. And that's coming from a uh, like I don't even think he was big in his class. Mm-mm. He might have been like mid, I think mid, second round. His second round. I think so. Yeah, he might. I, I want to say his second round. Like that's the process. Like that's a process right there. Like, that's trust a, the process. That's the real yeah, trust, trust the process. The process. Yeah. That's the real trust at, the process. Look at these before afters of Giannis, and yes. I'm like. Man, if he can get his body like that, I, I need to get back in the gym. I, can't, <laughs> I need to get in the gym. But that's that's a that's a that's a good franchise right there. Mm-hmm. That's a great and franchise. How long has he been there? I think they Since got drafted 2013. Eight eight years. Eight, yeah. Damn. Hey, man, it just goes to show. Put in that work, yeah, you'll be there. This, yeah, that's that's facts. That's a great a great example of that right there. Mm-hmm. All right. So one last question, my um. To so all the kids, the young kids, even the kids in the neighborhood Facts. Um, that want to go through this whole basketball journey, what's one advice that you would give to them? Um, I would definitely say, um, like I said before, put yourself out there. Don't be ashamed to go to camps. You see, like, look up, look up college schools that you want to go to that you may be interested in mm-hmm. and see what they got going on in the summer, mm-hmm. you know, and, and try not to waste your time. Don't, you know, don't show up to these camps unprepared work out really get after on your own time you got to be dedicated to it if you really want it you got to fight for it because there's kids out there that are that are hungry yeah there's some kids out there that are hungry and they really want it so like 
my my honest answer to you to everyone would be work out work hard really work on yourself and if you really want it don't be afraid to go out there and, and, and seek it yourself don't wait for someone to come to you right go find it go get it that's it facts yeah all right well i thank drew for coming and um again you always see us you know we're always working out yeah doing right. our thing um so until next time guys it's migs we're out